lovelies welcome back to another video hope you all are doing well all right i want to thank almighty god for another bright and beautiful day today guys i'll be sharing with you all four amazing extremely effective air growth oil to boost your air over there i have my fresh the fruits aloe vera plant and my blender the link on how i cut and preserve my aloe vera will be in the link down below so guys i'll just cut my aloe vera into a dice form if you want bigger and larger quantity you can increase the aloe vera plant you are going to use so as you can see i'm just cutting my aloe vera into a dice form i'm just straight into my blender and i want to thank all my amazing viewers thank you all so much for your constant love and your support your girl is super duper grateful and loyal and if you are new here welcome my name is jenny i'm into skincare and air growth tips if you like this one out here they kindly support your sister then my next ingredient will be my fresh rosemary plant guys i love rosemary a lot and it's super duper amazing on your hair and your scalp so over here i have my 75 ml of my extra virgin olive oil any oil of your choice you can as well use any one you, pre you prefer so i will just transfer my oil into my blender then i will cover it up then i'm going to blend it into a smooth paste So lovelies, after blending my ingredients together, look at how it's looking so smooth, so creamy. Then right now, I will go in with my little pot. You can use your palm if you prefer. So I'll just transfer my ingredients into my pot as you can see me doing it. After that, I am going to cook for 30 minutes on a very low flame. Please, when cooking, don't cook on a high flame and don't overcook it because you don't want to overprocess the ingredient because you want all the nutrients on your hair and your scalp so as you can see after 30 minutes look at how my oil is looking you can see some trace of aloe vera in there because i did not over process the whole ingredient so please don't overcook it cook for less a uh, minute and also on a very on a very low flame so I allow it to cool down for another 15 minutes after 30 minutes of cooking. Then as you can see, look at how it's looking. I see how my aloe vera trays in there, but there is no water in there. Then after that, I will go in with my little transparent bowl where I have to strain the oil from the pulp. Then I will go in with my little filter and this my stuff. This one help me to remove all residues from the oil, okay? So right now, I'll just transfer my oil into my little filter. Then I will just strain the oil out of the pulp. This stuff is super duper essential because you don't want any residue to stuck inside your oil, okay? So right now, I will just press the excess oil out of this pulp. Then, voila, my oil is ready. So lovelies, after straining, look at how my oil is looking. It's super duper fluffy, thick, and also beautiful. Then I will go in with just one coffee spoon of my castor oil. This one is optional if you don't like it. But me, I always love to apply castor oil into my oils. I will go in with my lavender essential oils. Then I will apply five drops of my lavender essential oils. Then my next ingredient will be my meat essential oil. I am going to apply five drop as well. Guys, any one you prefer, just apply any essential oils of your choice. Then after that, I am going to stir it up together. As you can see, the oil is thick in consistency because of the aloe vera. So just stir it a little while. Then after that, I am going to transfer it into my spray bottle. So lovelies, I will just cover my oil up, my aloe vera and my rosemary oil for extreme air growth, thickening your air, darkening your air and also stimulate your air. Use oil twice weekly on your scalp and your air and trust me guys, you are going to love it. 
So lovelies, let's proceed with the second extreme air growth oil on our list. I will need my three organic carrots. I've this effect I've washed and also I've peeled the skin as you can see. Then I will go in with my grater and my transparent bowl. If you don't have your grater, you can as well chop your carrot into a small dice form. But I always love to grate my carrot. I love carrot oil a lot on my hair, on my scalp, and also on my skin. So as you can see me doing right now, I'm just grating my carrots. So lovelies, after grating, here is the amount of carrot I got for my three carrots. Then right now, I will go in with my fresh rosemary plant. I love rosemary plant a lot. So I will just transfer my plant into my carrots. Then my next ingredient will be my sunflower oil. I will go in with 100 ml of my sunflower oil. If you don't like sunflower oil, you can use almond oil, grape seed oil, or olive oil. Then right now, I'm just pressing the whole ingredients together. Guys, this uh, process is extremely important. Before you eat up your carrot and your other ingredients, Please make sure you mix them together, stir together because you want the oil to saturate into the carrot before you eat it up. As you can see, look at the color has changed a lot because I've mixed them really, really well. Then right now, I will go in with my pot that will just transfer my carrot and my rosemary and my oil into my pot. Then I am going to cook for 30 minutes on a very, very low flame. Please don't overcook your ingredient okay it's extremely extremely important so right now i'll just transform my, my ingredient into my fire then i will cook it up for 30 minutes on a very low flame please i repeat on a very low flame you don't want to over process the carrot or the rosemary or the oils so after 30 minutes i am going to off my flame then allow it to cool for another 10 to 15 minutes for I will strain the oil out. So after 45 minutes in total, this is how my oil is looking. My oil has cooled off a lot. So right now, I will go in with my transparent bowl, with my filter and my stuff to just strain out the oil out of the pop. I don't want any residue to stuck inside my oil. So I'm going in with this top because I always love to keep my oil clean and free from residue. So right now, I'm just pressing the excess oil out of the pot. But you know one thing? There shall be no loss. <laughs> I hate to waste my oils, guys. So I'm just pressing it out. Press like you need, you need to press. Press as possible you can. So as you can see, guys, here is my beautiful, gorgeous carrot and rosemary oil for faster air growth. I will go in with one coffee spoon of my castor oil. Like I said, this one is optional, but I always love to apply castor oil into my oil. Then after that, I will go in with my lemongrass essential oil. I will apply five drops. These ones are not optional. Any one you have, just apply into it okay then i will go in with my calif toast essential oil i will apply five drop as well So right now, I will just tear my oils together. As you can see, guys, I love this oil. I love the color. It's everything. The color is giving me life. I'm telling you that right now, I'll just transfer it into my spray bottle as you can see me doing. So right now, I will just cover my oil up as you can see. My carrot and my rosemary extreme air growth oil is ready. Guys, apply twice weekly on your hair and your scalp and trust me guys, you are going to love it. So the next air growth oil, I will go in with my fresh 
ginger root i've peeled the skin out i've washed and disinfect it i love ginger a lot ginger help your hair to grow really really fast really really healthy then i will go in with my blender then i will just cut my ginger into a little dice form then i will throw it into my blender guys ginger is amazingly extremely great on your hair like you don't want to caramelize ginger ginger is super duper amazing on your hair and your scalp my next ingredient will be my fenugreek seed if you don't have this one you can apply a fenugreek powder but i have the seed so i'm going with the seed so i will go in with one spoon of my fenugreek seed as you can see me doing that will pour it into my blender then i will go in with my fresh rosemary plant as well then i'll just transfer my rosemary plant into my blender So right now I have all my ingredients ready in my blender. Then I will go in with my sunflower oil. I will go in with 100 ml of my sunflower oil. If you don't like sunflower oil, you can apply soya bean oil, grapeseed oil, almond oil, or any oil of your choice. So right now it's time to blend. I will blend all my ingredients together on a, into a smooth consistency. So lovely, I finished blending my ingredients as you can see. Look at how smooth it is. I love it. Look like cream and milk. <laughs> so right now, I will go in with my pot. I will transfer my ingredients into my pot. Then again, I am going to cook on a very low flame for 30 minutes. Guys, I always repeat it too. Don't over process your ingredients because you need all the nutrients on your hair and your scalp if you cook your ingredients for too for high flame or for too long it will destroy all the nutrients i don't need that okay so i will cook on a very low heat for 30 minutes then after 30 minutes i will i like to cool up for another 15 minutes before i will strain the oil out of the pop So after 45 minutes, look at how my oil is looking. My ginger and my fenugreek and rosemary oil is ready. So right now, I will go in with my transparent bowl alongside with my filter and my stuff to straight out my oil. I don't want any stuff to stuck inside my oil oh yeah guys if you don't like this process you can use your stuff your stocks to just straight it out without using your blend your filter so as you can see i'll just transfer my oil into my filter then after that i'm going to press all the excess oil out of the pop as you can see me doing So lovelies, look at how my ginger and my fenugreek oil is looking. Look at the beautiful golden color. Gosh, I love this oil a lot. <laughs> so I'll go in again with my one coffee spoon of my castor oil. Like I said, optional. Then I will come go in. Then I will come go in. Then I will not go in with my tea tree essential oil. Forgive me, guys. I'm tired already. I beg. So I'll go in with my tea tree essential oil. I'll go in with five drops each. Then I'll go in with my lavender essential oil. I'm going to apply five drops as well. So right now, I will go in with my meat essential oil. I'm going to apply five drops of my essential oil into my oils. Then after that, I am going to stir it up together. So after stirring, I'll just transfer my oil into my spray bottle as you can see me doing.
Then right now, I will call my oil up, my fenugreek and my ginger extreme faster air growth oil is ready. Apply on your hair twice weekly, massage on your scalp for amazing results. So lovely is the last but not the least. I will go in with my flaxseed. Flaxseed has an amazing nutrient, amazing benefit on your hair and your scalp. If you not heard about flaxseed oil, you have to try, learn, and incorporate flaxseed into your hair regimen. It's super duper amazing. It has omega three, straightening your hair, darkening your hair, stop your hair for falling, stimulate your scalp, like give your hair strength and help your hair to grow amazingly well. So I will go in with five spoon of my flaxseed. The after that, I will go in with my blender. I will transform my flower seed into my blender. Guys, if you don't want to use this process, you can as well blend it through your dry and then blender. Then over here, I have my grape seed oil. Yeah, you can use any oil of your choice. I will go with 150 ml of my grape seed oil. So right now, I'll just cover it up that I am going to blend into a smooth consistency. Like I said, if you don't want this process, you can just blend your flaxseed with your dry blender. Then you cannot transfer your oil into it. Then you cannot proceed with making your flaxseed oil. Guys, flaxseed oil is one of my favorites when it comes to Air growth, or air growth oil yeah, because it gives my hair that vibe. I love how it moisturizes my hair, give my hair shine, make my hair feel that darky sensation. So, guys, after blending, look at how my flaxseed and my oil are looking. So, I'll go in with my spatula to just straight out the SS1 from the cover. The after that, I will go in with this my little jar. I will be going in with the double eat blend uh, boiler method. So I will transfer my oil into my jar. Then I will cover it up. Then I am going to cook it for 40 to 50 minutes. So lovelies, behind the scene, I applied my rosemary uh, plant, okay, because I forgot to apply it before I cover it up. So behind camera, I applied my rosemary plant. So you can apply rosemary plant into it as well. Then as you can see, after 40 minutes, look at uh, my oil is looking because I cook it for 40 to 50 minutes because I'm using the double is the boiling method. So after about one hour, I took it down. I like to cool off till the next day, guys. Yes, I allow my to sit till the next day before I strain it out. If you want to get all the amazing benefits, just allow it to sit for at least 24 hours before you strain the oil out of the seed. As you can see over there, I have my rosemary plant in there. Okay, I applied my behind the scene <laughs> so right now i'm just tearing it up to make sure all the nutrients come into the oil because i allow my to sit to the next day before i want to straight it out so after stirring i will go in with my transparent bowl then i will go in with my filter then i will go in with my stuff guys please this stuff is extremely essential when it comes to making your flaxseed oil because this the pulp can easily penetrate into your oil. I don't want that to stuck on your hair. So please use this method or you use your stalks to just train the oil out of the flaxseed. As you can see, I'm just pressing the excess oil out of the seed then after that i will go in with my castor oil i will go in with one coffee spoon of my castor oil then i will go in with my lavender essential oil i'm going to apply five drops of my lavender essential oils Then I will go in with my meat essential oil. I will apply five drops as well.
Then last but not the least, I will go in with my Calyptus Essential Oil. I'm going to apply five drops into it. Like I say, guys, any oil of your choice, you can apply any one you prefer. Then I'm going to stir it up together as you can see. Then after stirring, guys, I'm going to transfer my oil into my spray bottle. Guys, oil is as, um, amazingly, amazingly great on your hair and your scalp. Massage it on your hair three times weekly and trust me, you are going to love it. It's thick in consistency, so please don't overuse it. So right now, I'll just cover it up and trust me guys, my flaxseed oil is ready for use. Can it serve as a pre pull hot oil treatment or as a scalp massage or as your hair massage? So lovely, here are the four amazing air growth oil to make your air grow extremely fast, extremely great. You can preserve yours inside your fridge up to one week. If you want it to last longer, you can add any preservative of your choice, okay? Over there, I have my aloe vera, my carrot, my ginger, and my fenugreek, and lastly, my flag seed oil. These oil are extremely and extremely effective and beneficial on your air and your scalp use the flaxseed three times weekly and the rest ones twice weekly massage your scalp with it massage your hair with it and lastly please seal the moisture with any butter of your shirt so thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me the thumbs up it helped my video a lot and thank you all for watching until i will see you in the next one or until when you see me on your screen next time remain blessed and you know what peace bye bye